Today, we're going to reveal some fast food secrets. By now, we've all learned that we never get the exact same food that we see in ads. But uh, there is way more stuff to know about how fast food companies make us buy stuff. It's like they make your brain order, Ooh, I've seen something delicious! Get that for me ASAP! Ooh! Well, imagine entering a food court and smelling all that beautiful food. As you walk by, one smell stands out from the others. Fresh baked Cinnabon. Yeah, they do bake them. But the smell that reaches your nose doesn't come straight from the oven. Cinnabon bakery chains place their ovens near their front door to attract customers. That smell isn't just coming from the oven, though. The staff heats baking sheets with sprinkled cinnamon and brown sugar to keep the sweet aroma in the air all day long. These smells make you feel hungry, even though your stomach isn't empty. Let me introduce you to aroma marketing. The aim here is to make products irresistible. Did you notice the unique scent of crispy fries from McDonald's? It's the same smell in all stores worldwide. This is a pre-planned strategy. You smell these aromas, and your body increases ghrelin production. Ghrelin is the hunger hormone, by the way. Your stomach produces it. So yeah, these smells can stimulate your appetite. Another strategy to lure customers is to use the power of colors. They also trigger your appetite. Think about the most famous fast food restaurant logos and the colors used inside and in their branding. Slogans, mascots, or meals can change, but nearly all well-known fast food chains go with a similar color palette. There's no coincidence. Research proves that these warm colors activate your hunger. Also, they grab your attention. Think about it as a traffic light or a stop sign. You kind of want to stop. Now, in the past, people burned many calories to find food. Are you going to hunt some animals and gather some herbs? No. You just need to walk into a cafe around the corner to get your food in 5 minutes. Since this food is not expensive and is served fast, your brain's reward system favors it. Convenience is also addictive, like sugar. Brands are aware of this, and this leads us to the next fact. Businesses know how our brains work and manipulate them. If you're asked if you want to have a larger size of fries or drink, it's likely you'll say yes. Every brand earns millions of dollars just by upsizing the menus, for instance. Upsizing costs less, but oops, you've actually just spent more than you intended. The pricing format and dollar menu are also a part of this trick. You see numbers advertised as only $5.89. It's almost 6, but your brain associates it with the number 5 because you see 5 written there, not 6. Plus, the currency signs are sometimes small and hard to read. You go for a a la carte option, but they're placed on the sides and extra value meals flash out. When you look at the prices, a place in your brain called the orbitofrontal cortex takes control. Research shows that when a person buys something, knowing there's a better deal among the options, the brain activity shows signs of pain. There's a good offer, but if you take it, you end up eating more. Maybe you only want to buy a burger and you end up with fries and a drink. On the other hand, it's good if that was your intention all along. I can't argue with that. Do you know that your burgers are wrapped in grease-repelling paper? This means that this paper might contain harmful chemicals. Researchers tested samples taken from 400 containers and wrappers from fast food chains. They discovered that 38% of sandwich and burger wrappers contain fluorine, a rather toxic substance. And it's not just sandwich and burger wrappers. They found that 56% of dessert and bread wrappers and 20% of french fry sleeves contain fluorine. So, sadly, not just fast food, but also its packaging can be harmful. Now here's another trick. When you're on your way to get a snack from the drive-thru, the machines will recognize your license plate, and based on your previous purchases, they will flash similar options in front of you. Another thing about drive throughs is that they place cameras there. Sometimes you just talk through the buzzer. You can't see the staff, but beware, they can see you in some chains. Those use devices like magnetic sensors to notice vehicles. Then employees get notified via their headsets. They press a special button to activate their mics. Without sensors, cameras, and windows, how could they see you coming? They aren't psychic. Don't worry much, though. Employees probably don't care what you do. 
I mean, they have a million other things to do instead. Now, let's assume you get a burger from the drive-thru. You have grilled meat in it. Wait a minute, is it really grilled? Shocking news, they add a solution, sort of a sauce with a grilled flavor to the meat and make those fake grill lines on it. They can't grill meat at such short notice, but people like this look, so they go with this option. Speaking of faking it, fast food is very processed. I mean, the flavor in the burgers and nuggets is often gone in the process level of processed. To compensate for this, companies add special chemicals to give the food taste and aroma. Now earlier, we talked about the tricks companies use in drive throughs It's time to reveal the secrets of self-serve kiosks. You tend to spend more when you order your food via these kiosks. Restaurants expect that you'll spend about 20% more. The system in these kiosks is designed to upsell. Cashiers ask you questions, but while using a self-service kiosk, you don't feel rushed or maybe judged for your orders and choices. A lawsuit was filed in the U.S. about one fast food chain's tuna sandwich. It turns out that the ingredient advertised as tuna had no tuna in it. This was concluded by tests run in independent labs with multiple samples taken from this chain in California. The fast food chain said the claims didn't reflect the truth. So we'll just wait and see. A fact about nuggets is here, and it's proven. This one might be hard to digest, but they often don't contain chicken. Hmm. Scientists have tested them, and what they found is often only 50% meat. Apparently, there's a thing, sort of a process, called mechanically separated meat. And the remaining product comes from there. Fancy eating a blizzard cone or parfait from DQ? No one can stop you, but you should know that technically, what you're eating isn't ice cream. Dairy Queen soft serve has 5% milk fat. The FDA says that a product has to have at least 10% of milk fat to be considered ice cream. But the company isn't keeping this fact to itself. It's written on its website. Now, what about discount coupons or free products? It's all part of the plan. Some people go to restaurants with coupons. They think, I might also get this or that since I'm already here. Most of them buy something else. And the item they buy is often more expensive than the free item on their coupon. Now, sometimes people want to go with healthier options in fast food chains. They might miss the point that healthy might not be healthy at the end of the day if the person orders a sauced chicken salad. They might end up having more calories than they would get from a burger. On top of this, healthier options often cost more in comparison to regular items. Anyway, this is an ever-lengthening list. After all, the fast food industry is huge. We're talking billions of dollars. Maybe that's why it comes with a lot of secrets behind the scenes. Hmm. We've been talking about all this, and now I want to order a burger. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Most people are sure that humans only have five senses, but that's not entirely true. Taste, touch, smell, sight, and hearing aren't the only ones we have. Scientists claim that people have between 9 and 20 senses in total. These include thermoception, the sense of warmth, equilibrioception, the sense of balance. There's also the sense of time, although not everyone seems to have that last one. We used to think that there were just eight different blood types, but in reality, there are over 30 known blood group systems. Here on the bright side, our favorite blood group is B positive. Get it? For every pound of fat you gain, you generate one mile of new blood vessels to supply oxygen and nutrients to your body. Your stomach produces a new lining every six days to avoid digesting itself. Nerve cells transmit 1,000 nerve impulses a second. They travel between 1 and 268 miles per hour. Our DNA contains 100,000 viruses. Scientists have discovered one that goes back 100 million years. Your body emits visible light. You're the brightest at 4 p.m., and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is 1,000 times less intense than what your eyes can see. Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. 
It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. If you walked 2 miles per hour, you'd have to walk for 20 hours straight to lose 1 pound. And it would take you 518 days and 8 hours to circle the equator. Earwax isn't actually wax. It contains fat, skin cells, sweat, and dirt. Your brain gets three times bigger over the first year of life and reaches its full maturity when you're 25. 60% of it is fat. Your brain generates around 23 watts of electrical power, which is enough to run a small light bulb. Humans can't really multitask. Your brain can't perform more than one action at the same time. It switches between them, which doesn't save time as you might think, but increases the possibility you'll do something wrong and makes the process longer. When you have an exam to take, or you're at work trying to focus on an important task, try chewing gum. Research showed it can help you stay concentrated for longer on tasks that require your full attention. Studies even say that it's a better test aid than caffeine. There's nothing special in the gum, but the act of chewing wakes your brain up. The effect doesn't last long though, just for 20 minutes. Embryos develop fingerprints at three months. Your bones are four times harder than concrete. The strongest bone in your body is the femur. It can support up to 30 times the weight of a grown-up person. Even crazier is that our bones are made up of composite material, meaning they're both hard and elastic at the same time. Sunburn is the result of radiation exposure. When your body's natural defense mechanism gets overwhelmed trying to fight UV rays, a toxic reaction occurs that results in sunburn. Goosebumps are an evolutionary reflex left over from our ancestors. The release of adrenaline made their hair stand up, and they look scarier to approaching predators. Your body produces one to three pints of saliva every day. It helps you digest food and fights off infections. You also have a lot of bacteria in your mouth. Yeah, that's right. The average amount of bacteria in a person's mouth is almost the same as the number of people living on Earth. That's hard to digest. Each human has roughly 150,000 hairs on their head. Every strand grows around one half an inch per month. If we added the growth from each hair, it would measure the distance of 10 miles in just one year. Your hair is also a lot stronger than you think. A single strand can hold three ounces, which is the weight of an apple. If we combine the strength of all the hair on your head, it could support the weight of two elephants. Hey, let's try it. The beating sound your heart makes is the clap of valve leaflets opening and closing. Your heart doesn't replicate its cells unless you have an injury. Your corneas are the only part of your body that don't get blood. They get oxygen directly through the air. When you're sitting or standing upright, it's easier for you to recall some positive memories that make you feel good. Some believe it's because sitting up with your back flat boosts blood flow and your brain gets more oxygen, which helps it function better. The man who has the deepest voice in the world, and that's definitely not me, can produce sounds that humans, including him, can't hear at all. But elephants can hear those sounds. Veins look blue because light has to go through layers of skin and fat to reach them. Your skin scatters a lot of the red portion of white light before it reflects the blood. This leaves only the blue light to bounce back to your eyes. A person who has anosmia is unable to detect smells. Phantosmia is the opposite condition, when someone smells an odor that isn't actually there. The human brain has 100 billion neurons. It's 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of its liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. The earliest known person to have had blue eyes lived in the Stone Age, 7,000 years ago. Your right kidney is probably smaller and sits lower down than your left kidney to make room for your liver. By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd keep gulping down water for the entire 10 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. 
your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. The average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of eight interwoven muscles. The tongue is the only muscle with ends not connected to bone. Other muscles join two bones at both ends because that's how we pull and make a motion. There are around 700 different species of bacteria in your mouth. Over six billion of them live there. Your skin is your largest organ. It can cover the surface area of two bath towels. It accounts for around 16% of body weight and is around 22 square feet. If you typed 60 words per minute for eight hours a day, it would take you 50 years to type the human genome. You get tired pretty quickly when you're out in the heat. This happens because your body is trying really hard to keep itself cool, which puts a lot of extra work on it. So you get exhausted and tired, even if you don't do anything physically demanding. Your body has 78 organs, but only five of them are essential for survival. The brain, liver, kidney, lungs, and heart. Oh, the phone's ringing. It must be something urgent. At 11 p.m. Only all the gadgets in the house are silent. It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night when nothing distracts you. Women have more taste buds on the surface of their tongues than men do. That's one of the reasons why 35% of ladies and only 15% of guys are super tasters. Those are people who feel flavors more strongly than others. Left-handed people usually prefer to chew on the left side. And right-handed people, well, you guessed it, chew on the right. Even if your fingerprints are damaged, they'll grow back in the same unique pattern. When breathing, a single lung only uses 5% of the oxygen you've inhaled. You know, those ridges on the sides of coins haven't always been there. Back in the 18th century, people would file the coins down to make new coins later, which is not legal. To win this, the U.S. Mint engraved ridges onto coins to show if they had been tampered with. The filing down of coins stopped, but the tradition has stayed. A picture frame that's fallen because one of the hangers has come off has a simple fix. No one will ever see it either. Grab the nearest soda can and bend the pull tab off. Then simply screw it into where the hanger broke. Bend the end slightly out and hang it back up. If you don't have space for a greenhouse, try soda bottle greenhouses. Each seed gets its own micro greenhouse. Just cut the bottom off the bottles and remove the labels so you can see them better. Remove the greenhouses once the seeds have germinated and cuttings are established. Orbit Chewing Gum is easily one of the most recognized logos in the entire world. It's got a neatly hidden symbol on the label as well. The capital O is split into two parts. One dark for the night and one light for the day. Just like our planet orbiting the sun. Peeling garlic is probably one of the most smelly and annoying jobs of cooking. The peel sticks to everything, and your hands will smell like garlic forever. Well, simply pop the cloves into a microwave for 10 seconds, and they'll squeeze them right out of their paper shells. Or grab a jar, place the cloves inside, and give it a good shake. The peel will come right off. Many modern cars have color-coded engines, so you don't have to be a mechanic to find your way around them. The color-coded bits are usually marked yellow, blue, red, and green color. These are the things that you should keep an eye on between services, such as the dipstick, oil cap, coolant, brake fluid, and washer fluid. Pretty much leave all the black and gray stuff to the experts. Cutting cherry tomatoes can be a tedious task. One tomato at a time. There is a quicker way to do it. Try placing a bunch of them between two plates. Hold the top plate and carefully cut between them with your knife. Perfectly cut cherry tomato halves. Many color printers have added dots to printed documents without anyone even knowing they're there. They become more visible when magnified and photographed with the help of a blue LED flashlight. The position of the dots reveals the time, date, and a serial number of the device used during the printing. 
Next time you're on a plane and get the aisle seat, look for the hidden button on the armrest. Feel around near the hinge at the back, and you should find a button. This releases the armrest lock, instantly allowing it to swing up. Once it's level with your seat, it won't press into your side anymore. It'll also give you more room to move your legs around. Flight crews are known to use a system of chimes and bells to communicate across the entire plane. These chime messages could be about anything from the number of remaining snacks, turbulence ahead, or a storm upcoming on the flight path. Sometimes the chimes can be a signal from the cockpit to alert a route change or an emergency. Fonts that we use to print documents actually used to be named after their creators. Garamond was named after its creator, Claude Garamond, a famous French printer who was commissioned by the King of France to create a new font. His font became the stock standard until the 18th century. Garamond is still one of the most economical fonts to use to save ink while printing. Nintendo Switch cartridges have a hidden safety feature that stops people from sticking them in their mouths. That's an issue? Eh, apparently. Although non-toxic, denatonium benzoate coats the cartridge in a sour, peppery, and bitter substance to prevent people from swallowing them. Being one of the most bitter flavors known to humanity, it's commonly used to keep people from consuming things they're not meant to. A vegetable peeler isn't just for peeling potatoes, zucchini, or carrots. Try shaving onion for thin slices. This will speed up the process before getting teary-eyed. Perfect thin slices of cheese can also be achieved with the peeler. The eagle on the back of the dollar bill has 13 stars above it to represent the first 13 colonies. But that's not the only 13. There are 13 arrows, 13 olive branch leaves, 13 olive fruits, 13 stars above the eagle, 13 steps of the pyramid, and 13 bars on the shield. Strangely, but probably just a coincidence, the words anuit sepsis and e pluribus unum also have 13 letters. Lemons can be used as a deodorant, air freshener, polish, bug repellent, hair lightener, and to help rice not stick to the rice cooker or pot. Just add a little squeeze into the cooker before turning it on. How about that? Oh, and they also make pretty good lemonade, too. Copper and brass items start to look a little bit tarnished over time. Use some ketchup and salt to bring back that shine. Place the mixture into a rag and rub it into whatever needs that sparkle again. Cover every bit of the surface, then simply rinse off and dry. Forget trying to break your nails trying to open key rings again. Grab a staple remover, the one that looks like a mouth, and wedge its teeth between the coils to open it up easily. If the key or whatever you're putting on there still won't fit, just push down further until it's wide enough. Tap the home button three times on an iPhone to turn it into a convenient magnifying glass. Use the slider to control the zoom, and it even has an optional flashlight if you need it in the dark. Perfect for reading tiny print, finding interesting tiny insects, or maybe even looking closely at jewelry. Microwavable instant rice packets can fall over if not placed properly. Pull out the bottom flaps for a sturdier base and to cook that rice better. Are you bored of where you live? Fed up with not having a room with a moat or a garden big enough for a parade of elephants? Maybe it's time for a change. So, here are a few options to think about in your house search. First up, have you ever considered renting Buckingham Palace? Smack dab in the center of London, the sprawling palace is one of the most visited tourist spots in the UK, especially for people looking for a taste of the royal treatment. In the early 1700s, the Duke of Buckingham commissioned an architect named William Wind to build Buckingham House. Yes, house, not palace. It was only the early beginnings of what the Grand Palace looks like today. In 1761, King George III bought Buckingham House for his wife, Queen Charlotte. But it was their son, King George IV, who began to morph Buckingham Palace into its current magnificence. Maybe, in fact, he may have gone a bit overboard. King George IV had great taste in decor. He appointed John Nash, a neoclassical architect, to elevate the building and its grounds to a shining monument of opulence. Parliament agreed to cover 150,000 pounds, about $200,000 of the bill. But by the end, the renovation costs had spiraled out of control to nearly half a million. 
which is close to $1 billion in today's currency. With 775 rooms, the palace has a lot to offer, including some unique features that you might not find in other properties on the market, such as a river that runs beneath it. Back in the day, the River Tyburn was packed with salmon, a fisherman's daydream. Today, it flows through an underground channel, trickling beneath Buckingham Palace on its way through London. Some fishing enthusiast organizations have rallied to bring the river back up above ground, but that would mean tearing down several buildings along the way, including Buckingham Palace. So they might need to settle for other places to cast off for the time being. Buckingham Palace's 39-acre garden has many uses. It's the Queen's private London garden, and it also plays a key part in many royal events throughout the year. The most famous of these events are the Queen's Garden Parties, which can each welcome up to 24,000 guests into the garden's walls. The size of the garden is so vast that it could fit 29 football fields inside its walls and still have a bit of room to host afternoon tea. There's even a lake. Camels, crocodiles, elephants, and many other whimsical members of the animal kingdom have called the palace home. During the rule of King Henry VIII, deer roamed wild throughout the grounds. Then, years later, King James introduced an entire zoo, which future royals after him gladly took up as a tradition. Queen Charlotte was given a zebra and eight elephants, and Queen Victoria had great fun riding Jumbo, ringmaster P.T. Barnum's famous circus elephant. So how much would it cost to rent out Buckingham Palace for a month? Well, it comes in at a budget-friendly amount of about $17.5 million a month. That means it would fetch about $230 million a year in rent. Let's put that number in perspective. For $17.5 million, you could buy the world's most expensive watch, encrusted with 1,200 diamonds. So that's a $3.5 million clock for yourself and three of your friends, and you'd still have $3 million left over. If Buckingham Palace isn't your flavor, maybe another royal residence, Windsor Castle, might better suit your taste. The castle spans over 580,000 square feet and holds a millennium of royal history, dating all the way back to the Normans. Windsor Castle is the largest and oldest occupied castle in the entire world. First built by William the Conqueror in the 11th century, it's been the home of 39 monarchs since. Now, the queen spends most of her weekends away from her duties at the castle. Some of its highlights include a moat room, yeah, a room for your moat. In the state apartments, you can view paintings created by many famous artists hanging on the walls. And of course, there are the arms and armor in the Grand Vestibule. I keep my armor in the Grand Vestibule in my house too. So how much would this beauty cost to rent? The monthly rent would cost you as much as to buy 40 average UK homes mortgage-free, which is $13.6 million. For the same amount, you could also buy a private island 30 minutes off the coast of Manhattan. So choose wisely. If neither of those is in your budget, how about Kensington Palace? It's the current home of Prince William and Kate Middleton in the center of London near Hyde Park. It's filled with multiple wings and royal apartments where many past royals have called home, one of which being Princess Diana. Will and Kate's apartment is far from what you'd picture when you think of a regular one. It's more like a mansion inside a larger mansion. A portion of it even includes a clock tower. In 1689, King William and Queen Mary bought the mansion in a village called Kensington for 20,000 pounds, about $5.3 million today. At the time, it was called Kensington House. Since then, generations of royals have continued to live in the palace. Queen Anne worked on expanding its gardens and also built the Orangery, which started out as a greenhouse. Now it serves as a restaurant open to the public. With a measly 20 rooms, it makes up for it with 30 acres of grounds. Inside, there are two greeting rooms and multiple studies for the royals to work in. Plus, it has three kitchens. So you could get three different midnight snacks and never visit the same fridge twice. In addition, the royal apartment inside has its own private gym and an elevator, which is helpful since it spans four different floors. Renting Kensington Palace would set you back about $2.1 million a month. $2.1 million could get you a top-end Lamborghini, which has 770 horsepower 
and can zoom up to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. You'd have some cash left over, though, because the Lamborghini only costs $1.9 million. So you could throw a few Honda Civics in your shopping cart, too, if you wanted. Sandringham House is the beloved country home away from home of Queen Elizabeth II. Sandringham is a huge estate that the royals use for many occasions, since it has features ranging from fruit farms to a full museum. Mostly, it's where the English royals love to spend their winter holidays. It's in Norfolk, England, about 100 miles north of London, and is built on 20,000 acres of land. To put that in perspective, an acre was first measured as the size of land that could be plowed in one day with an ox in the Middle Ages. So, to plow Sandringham Estates land in one day, you would need 20,000 people and 20,000 oxen. In 1862, the British royal family bought the estate as a country retreat for the Prince of Wales, Edward VII, and his fiancée, Alexandra of Denmark. After that, the estate was passed on to Queen Elizabeth II. There are more than 200 people who work on the estate, which includes farmers, gardeners, and workers in the sawmill and fresh apple juice pressing plant. How much would monthly rent be in this sprawling abode? About the same cost as buying 53 Arabian horses, which is $8.5 million. The Palace of Versailles in France was originally a private retreat for Louis XIII and his family. Under the direction of Louis XIV, the royal residence was expanded and remodeled into immense and ornate premises surrounded by stately gardens. Every detail of it was designed to glorify Louis XIV and highlight his extravagance. A landscape artist crafted French gardens with fountains that created an illusion of magically still water, meant to express the power the king had over even nature. It was also the private residence of Marie Antoinette. Of all of them, the most decadent room is the Hall of Mirrors. It's a long gallery lined with 17 mirrors, which sit opposite 17 windows, to reflect the gardens outside. Opulent chandeliers gleam on the intricately painted ceiling, and the walls are built from white marble. How much does it cost to live like Marie Antoinette for a month? Well, there actually are rooms available for the public to rent. They start at $2,600, and with 2,300 rooms in total, that brings the rental value for the whole place up to $179 million per month. That's the equivalent of buying 55 grand pianos sculpted from pure crystal, which costs $3.2 million each. Okay, but really, did you know there are castles you can actually rent? There's a castle called Pete's Castle in Ireland, which was built over 600 years ago. Even though it has retained its original structure from the 1400s, in modern years, it's been renovated to make it a dream destination. But keep in mind, it's an actual ancient castle, so it's no Four Seasons. There are narrow staircases, and none of the rooms were designed for running water. Meaning, if you need the bathroom at 3 a.m., it's a chilly walk. It costs $145 per night, and it's open for anyone looking for a royally extravagant holiday to rent. If that's more in your budget range, I understand. We can't all have the money to buy 53 Arabian horses every month. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. You'd need a drop of liquid, a state-of-the-art laser 3D printer, and a couple of hours of work to make the tiniest fidget spinner ever. Its width will be smaller than that of your hair strand. At least researchers at Oak Ridge National Laboratory managed to do just that. A double-stuffed Oreo cookie aren't double-stuffed, in fact. A math teacher weighed 10 regular Oreos, 10 double-stuffed Oreos, 10 mega-stuffed Oreos. Turns out, double-stuffed Oreos are only 1.86 stuffed Oreos. Chipotle peppers aren't some special type of pepper. They're good old jalapenos. Dried and smoked jalapeno is Chipotle. In its gaseous form, oxygen is colorless and doesn't have any odor. But when it's liquid or solid, this substance looks pale blue. After being caught by a black hole, a star gets ripped apart by its enormous gravitational forces. Some parts of the star's remains hurtle into the black hole. The rest, in the form of a huge jet of plasma, is ejected with such force that it travels hundreds of light years away. 
Not so long ago, scientists decided the Dino's family tree had to be redrawn for the first time in 130 years. Apparently, two species of dinosaurs had to be grouped together from the very beginning. Those were the lizard-hipped meat-eaters like T. rex and bird-hipped vegetarians such as the Stegosaurus. A camel can drink up to 30 gallons of water in a bit more than 10 minutes. This water is stored in the animal's bloodstream. As for its fatty hump, it provides the camel with nourishment when there's little food around. Some sea animals like salmon or turtles use our planet's magnetic field to find their way home. Your lungs not only help you breathe, but they also produce blood cells. These cells are responsible for the clotting which stops bleeding. The lungs make more than 10 million of these tiny cells per hour. Only two letters never appear on the periodic table. Those are J and Q. Spin a ball when you drop it and it'll fly through the air while falling. This phenomenon is known as the Magnus Effect. You can see it at work in different sports, for example, tennis or baseball. Anatidaphobia is the fear that at any point, somewhere in the world, a duck or a goose may be watching you. The person isn't necessarily afraid that the duck or goose will get close to them or even touch them. They just don't like the feeling of being watched. It was first described in a comic strip to show you how anyone can be afraid of anything. Anything can be a phobia. A duck just watching my every move would certainly give me the heebie-jeebies. I might just quack up. Your favorite fruit candies may be shining because they're covered with carnauba wax. Many fruits, especially apples, have a thin layer of this wax too. Not only can it make the candies and fruit appear glossy, but it also makes your car shine. Peaches and nectarines seem different, but in fact, they're pretty much the same fruit. If the fluffiness gene is dominant, we get peaches. If not, we get smooth nectarines. Crows are pretty good at recognizing people's faces and have been found to remember people for a long time. This could be a good or a bad thing, depending on how nice you are to them. You don't want to come across a crow that's holding a grudge against you. You probably can't tell which crow is which very easily, so it might be better to play it safe and just give them a little wave. In the city of Yoro in Central America, they have an annual event known as the Reign of Fish. Not that the locals get a choice for it anyways. Every year in May or June, a torrential rainstorm rolls through the town, leaving a mass of fish flopping around in the streets. The phenomenon is believed to be caused by water spouts or water tornadoes, which drop the fish far from their home. Seafood delivery for free? Yes, please. A single strand of spaghetti onto your fork has a name. It's called a spaghetto. In the Italian language, an I at the end of a word means that it's plural, while an O is singular. This goes for all types, like gnocco instead of gnocchi, Fettuccino instead of fettuccini, and raviolo for a single parcel of goodness. Water can freeze and boil at the same time. This is called the triple point. That's when a substance can be solid, liquid, and gaseous at the same time. But there's only one pressure temperature that can make it possible. We're used to ranch dressing being white, but in reality, Producers usually add titanium dioxide to make it as white as your sunscreen. Oh, sunscreen producers add some titanium dioxide to their products too. Same with Caesar and blue cheese dressings. Our moon used to have an atmosphere. Several volcanic eruptions happened on Earth's natural satellite around 4 billion years ago. They released immense volumes of gas, trillions of tons. It was so much that the gas didn't have enough time to escape into space. That's how an atmosphere was formed. Cold water heats up faster than hot. The speed of this process depends on the temperature difference between the liquid and its surroundings. That's why cold water needs less time to absorb heat, but it doesn't mean it'll boil faster than hot water. Zealandia is a drowned continent in the Pacific Ocean. It's often described as a continental fragment or a microcontinent. 
Its area is almost 2 million square miles, about half as big as the US. It went underwater about 23 million years ago. New Zealand is Zealandia's largest part that remains above sea level. People are still evolving. Scientists have been tracking several millions of human anomalies. It turns out some harmful genes are slowly but surely getting filtered out of human DNA. Stars look as if they're twinkling because of the turbulence in Earth's atmosphere. It makes the light from the stars move in a different direction before reaching our eyes, and this looks as if the light is shaking. It takes water 1,000 years to complete its continuous journey around the world. The whole process is known as the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt. Bismuth is a brittle, shiny white metal with a pink tinge. If you melt it and then let it cool really slowly, it'll form iridescent cubic crystals. Those Skittles and M&M candies are colored with beetles. Red food dye is made of carmine, which is made with cochineal beetles. Red lipsticks are made with these beetles too. The rocks, metals, and other minerals and things that make up the planet are packed into the ground more tightly in certain places than in others. This has surprising consequences. Gravity varies slightly depending on where you are. How high up you are also has an effect, so if you're at the top of Mount Everest, you'd also weigh slightly less. Don't look down! One scientist has a theory that a substance existed in ancient microbes before chlorophyll – that's the thing that makes plants green – evolved on Earth. This substance reflected sunlight as red and violet colors, which combined to make purple. If true, the young Earth may have been teeming with strange purple-colored critters before all the green stuff appeared. Apples taste better when they're sliced because they're exposed to oxygen. It activates the enzyme called polyphenol oxidase, responsible for ripening and visible browning. The same thing happens when you hit an apple. The oxygen enters the apple through tiny cracks and it starts to ripen. Are you into white chocolate? Well, it's actually not even close to real chocolate. It's basically a mixture of sugar, milk, vanilla, and cocoa butter. Cocoa butter isn't enough for chocolate. It should contain chocolate liquor or powder. The only product that never expires even if you don't store it in the fridge is honey. It has a low pH and lots of sugar. That's why organisms that cause spoiling can't live in honey. If two pieces of the same kind of metal touch in space, they bond and get stuck together. It doesn't happen on Earth because water and air keeps pieces apart. People are more honest when they're tired. That's why most confessions are made during late-night conversations. Firefighters usually extinguish flames with wet water. It's water mixed with special wetting agents. These are chemicals that help water soak into objects and spread everywhere more easily. The Sun is an average-sized star, and still it could fit 1,300,000 Earths. The star is also 333,000 times as heavy as our planet. People have been able to spell their emails in Morse code since 2004. That's when a new symbol, at, was added to the code for the first time. The character is actually called a comet and consists of the A and C signals with no break in between. Tiny ridges on the F and J keys on the keyboard help your fingers navigate during touch typing. When your index fingers are on these ridges, you know exactly where other letters are. The brushes on the sides of the escalators are not for polishing your shoes, but for your safety. These nylon bristles prevent your laces and clothes from getting inside the escalator's gears. Now, that wouldn't be good. Most door handles are made of brass. This type of metal is good for fighting microbes. Bacteria can't multiply that much on such surfaces. These public toilets' cubicles don't look private for a reason. Huge gaps at the bottom were created to make you want to get out of there as soon as possible. Thanks to this design, there are almost no cubes. You can use a plastic lid from soda cups as a coaster. It has the perfect shape to hold your drink and keep a table surface from getting wet. Don't turn the lid upside down. Just put it on the table the same way it was on the cup. 
If you're stuck in a car during an accident and can't open the doors, you can use bars from the detachable headrest to break the window and get out. Remember those small plastic discs under the bottle lids? This little thing helps preserve vacuum inside bottles, keeping soda in a fizzy state. You've probably watched food heating in a microwave at least once in your life. Exciting, I know! But why do the developers make the door so dark? This black film is necessary to block electromagnetic fields. Tiny dots on padlocks next to the keyhole are designed to dry out the moisture if water gets inside the lock. Also, if the lock gets jammed or starts to rust, you can pour oil into it through this hole to fix the problem. A golf ball is covered with tiny craters for good aerodynamics. They're called dimples, and this design helps the ball fly further and more evenly. Some mugs have a little groove at the outside of the bottom. It helps water flow out and prevents it from accumulating when the cup is in the dishwasher. Sunglasses were first used not to protect your eyes from the sun. They use such glasses during Arctic expeditions. A huge amount of snow can blind you just like a bright flash. To save their eyes, they came up with these unique glasses. You can use any t-shirt not only for dressing, but also as a protective layer for your luggage. Just put your clothes on your suitcase as a cover and don't waste time plastic wrapping it. A button on the back of the shirt collar is there to keep your tie under the collar. Yes, people don't use it as intended because all ties are thinner now. But this button is still there as a decorative function. And here's the initial purpose of a tie. They created it in the 17th century Europe to tighten the collar. This way, people protected their necks from a strong wind. Then, they got used to this part of the outfit and made it a must-have accessory for royal gatherings. Soft pom-poms on hats were first invented several centuries ago. Sailors used them to avoid hitting their heads against low ship ceilings and ledges. They make most clothes hangers from cedarwood, since it contains many natural oils repelling moths that love to eat your clothes. A light bulb is spherical because such a shape allows the light to distribute evenly. Also, such light bulbs are cheaper and easier to produce. Ever found these pieces of fabric in new clothes? They're not just patches, but also testing subjects to use before washing. You can put this piece in the washing machine and see what happens to it. If everything is fine, then you can safely put your clothes in. Your ceiling fan has two modes of work, winter and summer. You need to find the switch on it. Push it up to activate the winter mode and down for the summer one. In summer mode, the fan pushes the air down. It pulls the air up in winter. Most people have this round plunger in the bathroom. In movies, they use those to eliminate a blockage in the toilet. In fact, the plunger is to get rid of a blockage in the sink. For the toilet, you need another special device. The extra space under your oven is not for keeping pans and pots. You can put some dishes there. The heat of the stove will keep your meals warm. It's useful if you're waiting for friends late for dinner. <clears throat> you're taking a pack of popcorn out of a microwave after heating. See the little hole at the top of the popcorn bag? You can use it to get rid of small unpopped grains. Shake the pack over the plate and all the grains will fall out through the hole. Almost all people use a travel pillow incorrectly. Usually, they put two ends forward and lay their heads back. Try to turn the pillow on the other side. The arc should be under your chin and the two ends should be directed back. Lay your head forward and your neck will feel way more comfortable in this position. And you'll get a good nap. They create magnets in a horseshoe shape to increase their magnetic power. The blue part indicates the south pole, the red part the north one. The two poles work simultaneously and increase the attraction. Thanks to the perfect aviation design, most planes can fly a long distance even without an engine. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.